Hello and welcome to Indelible Gaming, I'm Tommy and today I'm reviewing the Soul Republic Amps Air Truly Wireless Bluetooth Headphones. So without further ado, let's dive in. Alright, so the first thing that I want to talk about as per usual is their marketing materials. So the first thing that they have on their list is true wireless freedom, free from cables or neck bands to move unrestricted, whether working, exercising, or taking calls with integrated dual microphones, Bluetooth compatible, and Siri compatible. So I did use this on my iPhone 6s plus and I was able to get Siri to work with it so that is definitely true true wireless freedom is also true because there are no wires between these guys so that is also true so premium sound with noise isolation Soul Republic signature sound powerful and immersive music with deep bass and amazing clarity perfect fit and maximum noise isolation with four sizes of ear tips so I would also say that this is pretty much right on as well um they do have really good noise isolation they fit in the ear they're very comfortable their bass is pretty good their mids and their highs are also pretty good there's all right separation between the sound um however there is some distortion and i did find them to be kind of harsh with the mids and the highs especially with female vocals or with uh cymbals or something like that so the sound quality isn't absolutely amazing especially for the 180 dollars that these guys cost i really don't know if the sound is truly worth it or not um moving on to the next marketing material though um Workout ready headphones, water and sweat resistant, specifically designed air grooves that grip the ear so they won't fall out without the need for complicated fit pieces or painful ear hooks. Completely agree with that as well. This is kind of a rubber housing that fits over it, so it does make that pretty good for sweat. And it does fit in the ear, as you can see, rather well and doesn't fall out very easily. Um, especially when pressing down up, it kind of does, but other than that, it fits really well into the ear, so it's not going to fall out very easily, or at least for me, it fits super good in the ear. Um, comfortable, ultra lightweight, and ergonomic silicone design engineered to sit comfortably in your ears for hours. I would agree with this in general. My right ear, actually, I felt like these were more comfortable than the left ear. The left ear did cause some fatigue after some time, where the right ear never did, and I did wear these for about three to four hours straight so um, the comfort is definitely there and is pretty good um, the recharging case which is this guy is the recharging case and then you open it up and then that's where the headphones sit Included carrying case with a capacity of 2200 milliamp hour battery charges your amps earbuds more than 15 dimes and doubles as a battery backup for your phone up to three hours play back time play time so on the side here you open it up and you've got where you would normally charge it and then you've got a USB that you can charge your phone. I think that's really awesome. Um, so props for them with that. It's also pretty low profile as well. Just to compare it to my other earbud things that I carry around for my wired one, it is actually pretty good. So there you go. So they did a really good job with how this looks. Moving on to the packaging. So the packaging is pretty good. There's the front of the box. There's the side of the box where you can see the headphones on the back. It's got some information on the side. There's nothing on the bottom. There's just some fine print. And then how you open these guys up is you go in here. Right here, you've got your earbuds and then you just pull that out, push them out, and you've got your earbuds. And then inside of that, if you pull these out, you've got your little booklet thing here. And then you open this up and it comes with pairing instructions and then the actual charging case itself. And then underneath of that, you have your instruction booklet, the charging cable, and some extra earbuds that fell out onto my desk somewhere that I'll have to find later. Oh, there it is. Very small, a few different extra buds so you can get the best fit and the best seal. So overall, I think the packaging is good. They didn't spend a whole lot of money making it look super great and awesome, but they did take some attention to make it a good pleasurable experience, but I don't think they spent a whole lot of money making the packaging super fantastic and awesome. So I appreciate that. Moving on to the aesthetics of these guys. I actually really, really, really like the aesthetics all around for this. I really like the color of this charging case. I like the size of this charging case. I like that there's no sharp edges on this charging case, so it fits pretty good in your pocket. 
pocket. I like that when you open this up, you've got two of your earbuds in here, and I think both of these earbuds are absolutely fantastic as well because they're nice, small profile, and I think they look pretty good, and I really enjoy Soul's logo as well. Moving on to the feel, I think these both the charging case has some heft to it. It feels he heavy. It feels solid. However, this lid is kind of loose. That I would. That's the one main gripe that I have with it is I feel like the lid should also be mag magnetic because I think that would help keep it down. Because I could see a lot of people have complained about this opening up in their pocket or in their bag because it doesn't take a whole lot of force to open. The earbuds themselves feel absolutely fantastic, especially with that rubber matte feel around them and. And when they're inside your ears, they are super comfortable. Like I said before, they're also pretty for small form factor. If you look at them like that, you can barely tell that these guys are in my ears. The LED is on the back here. So it actually hits the back of your ear right there. So it's not really a distracting LED that you're going to be seeing. If somebody has these in your ear, you're not going to get distracted by seeing the flashing light all the time. So very big props for that. I really enjoy that. They seal really well. Like I said, they're comfortable. Um, one thing I like too about the magnetic case is that it is magnetic in the sense of when you put the earbuds in, it actually suction cups them in for the best charge that you can get. And as you can see, if I turn this upside down and shake it, it's not like the earbuds are going anywhere. So you're not going to lose these guys inside of your like pocket or inside of your backpack or your workout bag or anything like that. So big props to them for that. Moving on to specs for these guys. It's like almost impossible to find any specs for these. I tried it earlier, so I'm just going to read it off the box because that's like really the only specs that I could find true wireless, which is true exceptional sound. That one's kind of arguable. Um, I tr just reviewed something called the Nazudake J sevens. They cost $45. They're a true wireless Bluetooth headphone and they almost sound just as good to these guys that cost 180 for 180 dollars i do not recommend that the sound is worth it for that um i expect it to be a little bit better it's not like it's terrible so if you're really wanting bluetooth headphones i think these are a good choice but don't be expecting the audio to be blow your pants off i think my main problem with it is that they were just a little bit harsh and i i just i can't stand really harsh headphones because it hurts my ears um moving on rain and sweat resistant um up to three hours of playtime, which is pretty average that's not super great but it's not super bad anyways you have to keep in mind that these earbuds are super tiny so it's not like they can have a super big battery and they're constantly talking to each other and to your phone in order to give you that music playback so if you're expecting to get like a full day or eight hours or nine hours of battery life out of these you're probably never going to find it or at least not anytime soon or you're going to be paying a crazy amount of money for it that's why they come with a charging case so you can listen to them for a little while charge them up and then move on with your day or put them back in or whatever so across the board for all of the bluetooth wireless truly bluetooth wireless headphones you're getting about two to four hours of playtime, music playtime. There is also an audio delay when you're listening to a video or something like that, but that's a problem with Bluetooth earbuds in general because there is a delay because it's talking to the left earbud, which is the master unit, and then sending that to the right unit, and then it's trying to sync that together, so there's a natural delay that you're getting because of that, and that's the case for all of the wireless Bluetooth headphones that are truly wireless connecting to another thing until they figure out a different way other than Bluetooth to do that. Moving on to performance in general, the performance was actually pretty good with these guys. Um, they have Bluetooth 4.1, which is something I think I forgot to say in the specs section, uh, which is I'm very happy with. I like the Bluetooth 4.1. When I was first trying to pair it to my phone, I had difficulties making the left and the right one talk to each other, but it wasn't that bad. Just making just the left one pair with your phone or just the right one to pair with your phone is super easy. Pretty much all, once you pair it the first time it was really easy to just take them out and put them in your ears and then it would automatically sync to your phone and then you'd be good with both of the stereo ones very rarely when it did drop out both of the headphones dropped out instead of just one ear which i liked a lot however they did drop out within a kind of short range but once again this is more of a limitation with bluetooth and that was through walls so there's a lot of things that can be interfering with the connection there but in general i was able to get a pretty good sense of if i was somewhere in my room or somewhere open where you could see my cell phone 
um, it was, it always stayed connected and very rarely dropped. It was when I was starting to go kind of far away that it would start to drop. So very big props to them for that. The Bluetooth connection was very solid. The sound is actually pretty solid as well. I just think for $180, it's way too expensive that I don't think the sound quality is quite up to snuff when you're expecting somebody to pay $180 for something, especially because I kind of highly doubt that this product actually costs $180 or $150 to make in itself. I could be completely wrong, but I think they're marking up the living crap out of this and it's just not worth that type of money. They lasted in general for about two to three hours, which is what they said. I didn't get to test the 15 recharges because, um, I just, I haven't listened to them that much. I do like that. If you shake the case, you can actually see the LEDs that light up and that shows you how much of a charge it has less. It has left on the case itself, which is nice. I also do like that there's a charging that you could use this to also charge your phone if you really needed your phone to be charged without a wall outlet or something like that and you had a charger. So props to them for that. So in general, I think the performance was good. I just don't think going more in depth with the music section. I kind of talked about this at the beginning of the video, but the mids and the highs are good. They're pretty accurate. However, at times they can be harsh. And then the bass is also really solid. It's not going to be like if you're a bass head, it's not going to super satisfy. You also have to keep in mind that these are Bluetooth wireless headphones that you're not going to be getting a whole lot of bass. In general, with earbuds, you're not getting a whole lot of bass. And when you do, it's usually sacrificing mids and highs. So in general, I think the sound quality of this is good. And if it was at a cheaper price point, like $100 to $125, I'd be all over it. And I think it would be an excellent deal. But for $180, I think that's way too expensive. Even for $150, which is sometimes what it goes on sale for, I think it's still too expensive and not good enough to purchase at that point so moving on to my own personal pros and cons i think they look really sweet i think they're very comfortable i like that there's a magnetic charging case i like that you can charge your phone off these guys i like that this is small and compact that you can fit it inside of your pocket i like that it can charge recharge your earbuds a whole lot of times i like that there's a three hour battery limit um, I like that if you press the button once, you can play music. If you press it again, you can pause music. I like that it can sync up to Siri. However, that doesn't always work because that's how you're going to be skipping songs, going back on songs, or calling somebody or anything like that. I would prefer to hear, have that be on earbud device instead of me having to go through Siri or pull out my phone itself. So I would say, I guess I've gone into the negatives. I also think the price point for everything that you're getting and especially the sound quality is too expensive. So I think this is just in general too expensive. So moving on to, to the buy or not to buy, if you're willing to spend 150 to $250 on truly wireless Bluetooth headphones, I think it's worth it because I think the sound really isn't that bad. My main gripe with it is like I said, it's just a little too harsh and it hurts my hearing and I don't like that, especially for earbuds that are literally inside of my ear, but I don't recommend it. No, I don't recommend it. If you're willing to spend the money, then go ahead. By all means, I definitely think you should try these out and see if you like them and it's worth it to you. But if in general, I don't think that for the price that you're paying for these, it is worth it. So anyways, that is the end of my review. If you like this review, leave a like. If you didn't like this review, leave a dislike. And of course, if you've been following my content for a while, please do subscribe and check out some of my other content. If you have any questions about these guys, let me know in the comments section below and I'll try my best to let you know. And I will see you and your beautiful face on the next one. God bless and I'll see you on the next one. See ya.